How did all that tree law get over there? Today it feels like a zero to minus two. They say it's supposed to snow tomorrow, but we'll see. I guess the first thing that was everywhere in terms of reading in the news and stuff is all that Super Bowl related stuff. What was the final score? San Francisco 49ers 20 and the Kansas City Chiefs 31. I was just reading a lot of people complaining about the score, the plays, etc. etc. Although, pretty much funny enough, usually. The news that spreads around afterwards is just things like the commercials and the halftime shows. I don't know, I saw some of the commercials where they said it was the best ones. I actually didn't get it, like the one about the car and I guess the rich people and all that. And I guess it was one of these again in terms of the news. It says, drone sighting disrupts air traffic at Madrid airport. Madrid's international airport was closed for over one hour on Monday due to the reported sighting of drones, authorities in Spain said. The airport manager, AENA, tweeted that 26 flights have been diverted to other airports by the air traffic restrictions were lifted at 4.15 p.m. It said that a security committee had been set up to study the incident. It just makes me think of that point again where if there was some other thing that was a danger to manned aviation around an airport like a huge bird, would you actually shut the whole airport down for that for example or divert every single plane and so forth and make a huge deal about it or would you just take care of the situation? So like let's say if it was a drone, assuming it's proven to be one, which for the most part in many cases it's not, would you want to shut the airport down just because you see a drone or would you only shut it down if you see it doing something I guess suspicious like going right into the airport and all that, it's a little different, a little too much hysteria in my opinion. And in terms of drone hardware, for some reason this one came up again. It relates to this patent that Sony released before and apparently there was something updated about it. I was looking through it though and for the most part it seemed like it's a lot of the same images I saw way back. Although I guess trying to analyze it a bit seeing can we see anything different or unique about this? Is this meant to be a competitor for like say a DJI drone or is it more like a selfie drone? So you can basically see in the uh, descriptions and stuff, on the pictures anyways, there's some drones here with four propellers, some of them with eight, and I guess kind of the interesting thing is you can modify it according to this. For example, it has things like saying it's an illustrative diagram showing a modified example of the flying device according to the embodiment of the present disclosure. So again, it sounds like something you can actually change and adjust depending on your needs and all that. Fig 6 and 7 are illustrative diagrams showing an exterior example of the flying device 100 that has 8 rotors. In Fig 6 and 7, the flying device 100 with rotors cover 102A and 102H. So again, it makes you wonder if you can actually change it. It says having 8 rotors can also be provided as a modified example of the embodiment of the present disclosure as shown in Fig 6 and 7. So there's a ton of different diagrams. It seems like there's a lot of pictures referencing Basically, you can transfer things like images from the drone to the TV and so forth. At times, it seems like it's gesture-based, like maybe you can wave at it and it'll come to you. But then they have like this one figure, it has like a picture of like a sound icon, so it makes me wonder if it's voice activated. So is Sony releasing a new drone this year? I guess the interesting thing that seems universal for most places I read, where in the comments, people are like saying, oh great, competition! So it makes you wonder if a lot of people are, I guess, kind of, disappointed like with DJI in general like they want more people in the market that's kind of interesting in that case because in general if a huge company like Sony actually makes something fantastic so to speak in every single way I wouldn't doubt they can take the market share just like that because overall just in terms of a name brand outside of drones DJI pretty much is still kind of I guess you could say niche in the market like I still think even though that Karma wasn't very good by the sounds of it they still have like a bigger name brand in terms of the GoPro, in terms of the casual user. Now the last thing I saw was kind of cool, instead of air drones, how about underwater ones? This one says, this AI guided drone has mapped one of Earth's deepest subterranean lakes. A team of roboticists and divers used an AI powered drone to explore underwater caves farther than humans ever have. In the spring of 2017, explorer and robotic systems designer Vicky Siegel was navigating a mist-soaked cave in southern Mexico when she slipped, tearing a tendon in her knee. 
After a grueling self-rescue aided by her teammates, Seiko flew back to the US for surgery. It was during this recovery period that she first heard about the Dragon's Breath Cave, a sprawling water-filled cavern buried beneath the sands of the Kalahari Desert in Africa. Man, sounds like something from a movie or video game, huh? It says, quote, I came across this documentary series on Africa and they do really short segment on Dragon's Breath, she explains. It just captivated me. It was this amazing juxtaposition of a desert and vast amounts of water. Though for some of the world's leading cave divers have attempted to plumb the cave's depth, they've been unable to fully explore the extent of the vast interior. So what do you do when it is too far away for humans? I guess you make a drone out of it, and that's what they did. They basically constructed, I guess, an underwater drone. It's kind of cool with all the captions and stuff you can see. So I guess with, like, with things like flying drone, when people say, ah, who cares about like a hobby for a recreational person? Well, look at this. If that movie wasn't ever made, she probably wouldn't have ever had inspiration to do this, huh? Doesn't matter if you're doing it for science or for art. Everything plays a little role in innovation of things like tech. I guess our buddy saw us, but then they saw the dog.
Alright, see you guys later.